This is a riff for the ages. And by that, I, I'm not sure what I mean. Ages five and up. It's a Hasbro Brothers game. Hasbro Brothers. Has, has Brothers Brothers. Why isn't Hasbro is their last name? Board game company, Hasbro Brothers. This episode of Four Levels of Death Metal is brought to you by Sheet Happens, where you can buy guitar and bass tablet your books edited and approved by the artists themselves. Head over to their website at sheethappenspublishing.com and use code word DEAN at checkout for 15% off. Welcome back to our apartment where I've beaten Claire at every backgammon game we've ever played. That's not true. I have actually won 60% of the games. I've shut you out a lot of times though. That's also not true. I think I'm the only one who got a fucking shot out. Of but I am getting better at it. <laughs> yeah, you... you oh, I thought you weren't even gonna give me that because I feel like I'm getting worse at the game. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, I used to have, I think, 69% win. Embarrassing. Also, Claire and I have been talking a lot about uh, a joke that we put in two videos ago. Insane Crow, Crow Posse. Insane Crow Posse. Which we now have merch for. Yeah. And then we were thinking what other members of Insane Clown Posse there were. We Googled it. Then I kind of started learning about ICP. Yeah, and the history of ICP. Yeah, one thing I learned is that when they formed, ICP actually stood for Inner City Posse. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of youth outreach program. <laughs> Teach kids how to rap, but it's all about like staying sober. and Right. So many months passed, we were confronted with a challenge, and the challenge was insurmountable. Yeah, we failed. Mm -hmm. This is level one. What did he do? Malcolm didn't understand the assignment. I <laughs> thought assign. you told him to make the first two levels quite easy. I thought I did. <laughs> yeah. We failed. And so what we thought might be nice was to offer Malcolm the olive branch of redemption and allow him to bring four additional levels of death metal onto our show for us to critique, learn, master, maybe even become a little bit better than he is at them. Uh, don't quote me on that. Or is this our olive branch of redemption? Because we failed last time. Even though we blame Malcolm, we're the ones that failed. But it's our show. So if he extends an olive branch to us, and then he's like, here, edit all this footage. These riffs, that's not really an olive branch, that's like, do work for me. These riffs are the olive branch. Uh-huh. Well, I don't really like olives, well, but I do like Malcolm. I'll eat your olives. <laughs> okay, well, prepare to eat Malcolm's olives. Uh, nope. <laughs> Malcolm, Four Levels of Death Metal, and Fury Part Two: Redemption. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me back again, allowing me to come back and redeem myself, because I don't know what level our riffs are, and I'm just a madman. So I appreciate that. Only this time, I think it's more accurate to what levels are. Our latest EP, Cheat Happens, is dropping a tab book on it, so might as well get in on that action. For level one, we're gonna tackle the Abhorrent Art. This riff is right before Mike's solo, kind of like a build up, a heavy build up back into the song after like a, a long bridge. Rhythmically, pretty simple. I think you guys will be just fine. Pretty cool. For Malcolm and Fury, this is probably about as easy as you can get. Do you want to tune our strings down to uh, D? Well, I can play on my six then. I also haven't played this guitar. Whoa, this guitar feels tiny in my hands. I have a new guitar now. I like all the uh, black metal-y guys. All right, you want to try it 100%? What are okay. you doing? Decent. Decent? Yeah. Oh my God, level one, fuck you. <laughs> Are you, oh, you look like you're about to attack me or something. <laughs> Level one. 
I'm pretty happy to say... One and done. If I may, one and done, or done. At least this level. All right, for level two, we're gonna check out Eldritch Evolution. This is the first riff of the song, right after the, the main intro. It's pretty straightforward as well. It's a little faster than level one. Lots of alternate picking. This riff kind of depends on both guitars and the bass kind of swapping in between. Let's, uh, let's have a listen. We're not uh, all as good at guitar as you, Malcolm. <laughs> I look at that and it looks busy, but it doesn't look impossible. Okay, yeah, I know what you're saying. Is that the- Dude, we got this. How's that? Yeah, that's a cool sound. <laughs> So the question is... What's the question? For a riff like this, inside or outside picking? In a year and outy. I would outside pick it because I, uh, I'm an idiot. When I played it slow without the tab, I outside picked it. And when I fucking just followed along the tab, I inside picked it. Is there a reason to swear there? Like really cast out the expletives? You don't want me to swear anymore? This is a perfectly family friendly show. Well, I'm sorry to fucking say it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you were just watching Trailer Park once. Yeah, so. I mean... I've been watching fucking Trailer Park Boys for more than a decade. More than a... Fucking decade. It just sounds hilarious. I love how they talk. You think of people that swear are cool and you look up to them. No, I you think... You see them as role I think, models. I think when hard Canadian accents swear, it's funny sounding. Do you think that a lot of Americans who watch Trailer Park Boys think that those guys are representative of Canadians? If you're looking for a perfect representation of Canadians, look no further than that show. That's it. How many people do you know that look, look and act like that? Quite a lot. Aside from your family. <laughs> My mom would not appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not your mom. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of your family though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's curricular. You're doing so many fucking extracurricular things. Right, yeah. Are you trying to fucking uh, kiss Michael's ass? Michael! <laughs> Sorry, who's Michael and why am I trying to kiss his ass? <laughs> Malcolm. <laughs> It's a really dancey riff. Ah, ooh, ah. I'd just like to confirm something. Do you think that when people dance, they go, ah, <laughs> ooh, ah. I don't know what else I could have done because I was playing guitar. You could have. I know, but I was struggling to even play the riff that I just learned. 80%. Ooh, ah. Did we dance at our wedding? No. I guess, I guess you got pretty stoned and drunk at our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't dance because I don't think you want to dance. Uh, nope. Oh yeah, this is getting up there, huh? That's really fast. How's your fucking outside picking now? All right, 100%. And this is uh, a riff for the ages. And by that, I, I'm not sure what I mean. Ages five and up. You're on it's back. a Hasbro Brothers game. Hasbro Brothers. Has, has Brothers Brothers. Why isn't Hasbro is their fucking last name? Board game company, Hasbro Brothers? You ready? 100%? Yeah. All right. it up quite a bit. And you know what's funny is I attempted to start it with outside picking uh -huh. and I probably got like bent dun, bin, dun, dun, oh, dun, and then was inside. Yeah. It was like immediate abandonment. Level two was a relative success. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Speaking of flaws, we're about to go find out who of our viewership has noticed just how flawed we are. <laughs> Yeah, I really didn't have anything there. Yeah, the fucking breath. <laughs> We're about to dive into the deep end of exposing of our own ourselves. Flaws. Yeah, exactly. Of discovering our own flaws yeah, yeah. by answering your very telling questions. Yeah, hopefully they're less horny this time. The questions. Do you, so do you want to stand up for about half a second and then sit back down? And in the middle there, I'll put the Q&A. You guys know now that we don't actually go answer the question at this very moment. 
Here we are, same day, right? Yeah. We didn't forget to record the Q&A and then sat around for days and days and then be like, oh, right, we gotta record it. Uh, I got some questions. I got some grand old questions. Of which we're probably only gonna answer one. Oh yeah, just one. Because we only ever do one. Rip, Ripper Mandy asks, are y'all a pancake crowd or a couple of those waffle heathens I've heard about? Most certainly a waffle heathen. Waffle heathen. Yeah. Uh, waffles have a better mouthfeel. The the crunch, yeah, especially like a Belgian waffle where it's oh, crispy yeah. edges Sorry, and then soft mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've eaten Belgian waffles in Belgium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really good. I, I like waffles more because they're less cake-like. And, um... They're less cake-like. Waffles are way less cake-like. Well, they're crispy cake. <laughs> you just think about the name, even. Mm. Pancakes are literally cakes in a pan. But you can have a fucking, you know, waffle covered in ice cream and sugar and... You pudding. can have a pancake covered in ice cream, too. It's true, but I'm just saying it's just as much a dessert Wait, item. whose side am I on? Just as much <laughs> as... <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and we're back. We actually did go answer them this time. We, we, yeah, we actually did. I promise. All right, so level three with our friend Malcolm, who you called Michael earlier. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be very offensive to him. Why is that offensive? There's plenty of people named Michael who are great people. I doubt that. <laughs> my bassist is one of them. Right. Shout out Michael. Great dude. And my uncle. Yeah, well, I know a lot of people named Michael too. Oh, yeah? Like your bassist. <laughs> oh, and your uncle. All right, guys, level three. Now we're getting in some real stiff. For this one, we're gonna check out Aeon's Torn is a really, really slow song at 144. This one is uh, relatively slow, but it's kind of tricky on the positioning. Both guitars kind of talk back and forth, a little call and response. So let's check that out. I think you guys will get it relatively easy. Okay, that fucking weed weeder, weed weeder. <laughs> the weed eater outside is very loud. Weed eater. Yeah, it's a weed whacker. Yeah. Weed eater. A weed whacker. Weed well, whatever. <laughs> fucking, I'm gonna fucking whack you. Okay, so. What? Do you wanna see how I fucking did it? Okay. Yeah, oh my god, that's hard. Yeah, and it's probably really fast. Fuck you! Can we try 50% and just see if, how much I can fuck it up? Oh! oh. <coughs> try it again? Okay. How was that? That was alright. It's pretty fucking stressful though, so. It's stressful. It's just like a lot going on and uh... Any parts you need to work on? <laughs> Everything. It's hundred <laughs> percent. You were gonna kiss me. You're like <laughs> I know things. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was okay. I think I fucked up one part. All right, level four. I'm sweaty. Yeah. I'm fucking ready. I'm filled to the brim with shreddies. I did have shreddies this morning. For anybody who doesn't know, shreddies is a Canadian cereal that you can't have. It's pretty good. Yeah, you can't have it. Uh, ready to delve into the uh, depths? Yeah, delve into the depths. All right, now we're at level four, baby. This one is very tricky. It's kind of a ranty riff where it's based on a motif and then it kind of goes on a tangent for a little bit before it goes back to that motif. Motif? Motif? 
Who needs Moti? So anyway, it's kind of inspired by uh, waves from Guthrie Govin. It's very challenging. Enjoy. Ah! Don't. No way that hurt that much. Yeah, well, I don't want you to do it. Can I go first? I'll learn this part. What the fuck is with the fingering of this? Oh my god. Are you losing hope? <laughs> oh my god. What's happened to us? Oh, okay. Can we just try it at 50? Yeah, I would like to. That's gonna help us memorize it, playing it somehow. It's gonna help us, I don't know how. That's gonna help us, right? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help us. Well, so far in my head. Whatever it is. Uh, that switch there is tough. Yeah. There's zero hope for me to memorize it. So. There's no fucking way we're getting this to 100%. Okay, like it's, it's slowly starting to come through, I think. There's one part for me that's absolutely not. Okay, it's sort of coming out in my fingers a little bit, yeah. kind of. Yeah. 60%? Sure. Let's see if we can get up to like 70 and then we're fucking... Oh my god. Honestly, I feel like that was better for me than I think it was better for me too. 50. Try a 70? Yeah. Okay, let, let's, we're setting a goal for 70 uh, maybe, because I don't think 100 maybe is... Maybe even 80. I don't think 100 is gonna happen today. But man, what a cool riff. <laughs> <laughs> Try 80? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was pretty messy. I'm, just, I'm throwing the pick. Okay, we don't get to throw it forward, remember? Let's throw it back. Yeah, because we fucked it. Because yeah, we're going back. backwards in our we did, we did our best. Malcolm did great this time. This is the riff that I think we need just a little more time on. It's like, fucking. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're busy. We're busy people. What, what more do you want from us? Really? Uh, how do you feel like we did? Um, it's, it's been so long since we did the first installment of Infury that I can't say if we improved from last time. So I don't know. We definitely did. We definitely did. <laughs> Your fucking stance is really funny right now. Stance. Super fucking wide legged. There's nice. a lot of leg in this video, sorry. Nice, uh... <laughs> Well, nothing left to say, really. Pick up your insane crow posse shirts from our merch store. Insane crow posse shirts now available. Yeah. What else? Uh, if you want to get good like Malcolm, go to Sheet Happens Publishing and get their tab book and use code word Dean at checkout for 15% off. Bing. Is it 15? Yeah. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa. Ew. <laughs> There's a everywhere. Yeah, well, you're fucking discussing freaking nature. Hey. Hey, guys. 
thanks for having me again on Four Level of Death Metal. It's always a pleasure to come in and uh, mess around with some riffs, have some fun. I don't know what else to say, so bye. <laughs>